G'day, I'm Scotty Tucker. In this quick video, I just want to run through the, uh, the fundamentals of aeration and why we aerate. So the main reason we aerate is to actually stimulate aerobic bacteria to enable them to digest the waste that's on the bottom, all the, the years and decades full of uh, muck and duck crap and leaf litter and all that sort of organic waste ends up on the bottom of the dam. And down the bottom of the dam, when you don't have aeration in there, it's uh, very cold and no oxygen. You know, when you jump into a dam and it's warm on the top and cold underneath, it's the same with oxygen. And what that means is that down the bottom, you have anaerobic conditions, which favors anaerobic bacteria. Now, without getting too technical, what that means is that the bacteria that's trying to break down all that crap does it very, very slowly. And in man-made water bodies, what generally happens is that that waste builds up and up over time, and it ends up becoming compost fertiliser for algae and weed to grow. So what we're doing with aeration is when you size up an aeration system appropriately, you want to make sure that that uh, layer of stratification, that, that um, thermal incline uh, or thermocline is, uh, is taken away. And that enables the oxygen to get down the bottom, which then enables aerobic bacteria to dominate. And aerobic bacteria will break down and digest that waste much, much faster than anaerobic bacteria. So the aerobic bacteria uh, outcompetes the algae and the weed for the available nutrients. So the main reason why you're aerating is so you don't end up with uh, weeds and algae like you can see behind me. Then you're less reliant on chemical treatments, you're less reliant on herbicides and algicides, and it's a more natural way of cleaning up the water. Other benefits with aeration is that what it can do is put a, uh, a kind of like a cap over the top of the sediment and it also with the bacteria and some of the re uh, reactions that happen uh, chemically biologically in the sediment, uh, more complicated sort of reactions with calcium and, and, and different, um, uh, yeah, different reactions like that can also lock up phosphorus in the system. Now phosphorus in fresh water is one of the main contributing, or it's the main contributing nutrient for algae, algae to grow. So if you can help bind that in the sediment, lock it up with iron and calcium and all these sort of fancy interactions, it also means less uh, nutrient available for algae and weed up above. So it's literally a case of you clean up the bottom and you'll clean up the top. Uh, other things with aeration, getting rid of that stratification layer will mean that you, uh, you're not freezing cold when you jump into a swimming dam. You don't get that, that uh, shiver when you go down about a metre deep or so. Uh, with fish, it's, uh, it's very beneficial. That same thermocline where you get the temperature change underneath, it's the same with oxygen, which means that uh, depending on the species of fish, they may not be able to go down and, and live down there because there's not enough oxygen. And what that means is that you've got this, all this massive water body, but the fish can only live in the upper layers and that puts pressure on the fish, especially in terms of birds. You know, if the fish have got to hang around up the top, whoosh, down come the birds and they smash them. Another thing with aeration, it will also get rid of odour. So if you've got um, uh, irrigation water or you're pumping water up to a tank and then using it in the house or around the garden or whatever and it stinks, it smells like rotten egg gas, what that is, it's not the water, it's that anaerobic bacteria. The anaerobic bacteria produces hydrogen sulphide and methane and that's what stinks, that's what causes the rotten egg smell. So if you get oxygen down the bottom and in and around the water column where your, your, your um, foot valves dragging water out to be pumped out on the shore, uh, you change those populations from anaerobic to aerobic bacteria and you'll get rid of the odour very, very quickly. Aeration can also help precipitate iron out of the water if you're in an, in an area where iron's a problem. And of course aeration will create a much healthier environment for, uh, for wildlife, for frogs, fish, insects, uh, birds, plants, reptiles, um, everything. Everything's oxygen driven. So the more oxygen you can get into your dam, the healthier your water body's going to be. But overall, most of the reason why you want to aerate is just simply to give those good bugs the oxygen that they need to thrive. You get those guys thriving and you get far less weed and algae.